So you think there's going to be a rapture. You think you're going to be raptured. Or maybe you think you're not going to be raptured and you're going to have to live through the tribulation period, the last three and a half years. Some people say the last seven years. Um, well, let's take a look at what Yeshua says about it. Yeshua, that's, some people call him Jesus. I prefer to use his Hebrew name or his Aramaic name, Yeshua. Uh, he says in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 15, uh, establishing the time period of the end of the the end of the age, the last the last few years right before his return to the earth. He says in twenty four fifteen, therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, that's in Daniel nine. You can go and study that out and read for yourself. Uh, he's giving us something to look for. Standing in the holy place, whoever reads, let him understand. That's, I'm not putting that in. That's right there in the scripture. Because whoever reads, let him understand. And in verse 16 it says, Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Where is Judea? Judea is the southern part of Israel. The whole, it's like what we would call a county in the United States, or a region. It's a whole section of the southern part of uh, Israel which envelops or surrounds Jerusalem. Okay, so it's that whole southern area. The Judea, Judea comes from the word for the tribe of Judah, who originally that was their um, land that they were given to, that they were given um, because all of the different brothers were given different parts of Israel. And uh, that's where they lived. All right, so that's the southern part of Israel. So we know there are going to be true believers, believers in Yeshua, what the world might, what you might call Christians. I won't say the world calls Christians because, you know, almost anybody can be called a Christian nowadays. Uh, but a true believer are going to be living in the southern part of, I mean, yeah, in the, in the part of Israel, in Israel, and, in a, and right around Jerusalem. It says in verse 17, let him who was on the housetop not go down to take anything out of his house. Okay, so this is really getting to be the very bad time of the uh, tribulation. Now let's skip down to verse 29. So it, it, we established that it's the end times and it's talking about the tribulation period. So now it says in verse 29, now pay close attention to the wording, because you're wondering if you're going to be raptured, right? Picked up, scooped up off the earth and brought up into heaven. That's what rapture means. Uh, it says, immediately after the tribulation of those days. What is this time period? It's right after the tribulation of those days. The sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So this is absolutely the very last time, because we know that the tribulation period ends with the return of Yeshua. He comes back to earth right at the end of the tribulation period. So the tribulation is now over. And it says, immediately after the tribulation of those days, it tells us. Then it says, um, so he, the Son of Man, talking about Yeshua, coming on clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Then in verse 31 it says, and he, will, and he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of, the hev of heaven to the other. So no matter where you are, the four winds, east, west, north, north, south, wherever you are on earth, or in heaven even, uh, well, I don't know how you're going to be in heaven unless you're up like in the physical heaven, the sky, and you're... Um, in a plane or something. But wherever you are on earth, the angels, Yeshua's angels, are going to go out and they're going to get you. Right? So he sends, uh, they will gather them together, his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So the, from the entire, even the, the entire uh, area that envelops the earth, no matter where you are, you're going to be picked up and you're going to be brought to meet, to meet, to join together with Yeshua, and then we are all going to go down and land right in Jerusalem. He is, his feet are specifically going to go down on the Mount of Olives. 
Okay? And so we're going to go down there with him, and he's going to establish his kingdom. All right. Now, some people talk about uh, being raptured and going to a place of safety or something like that. There is no 100% concrete uh, evidence that there is going to be a place of safety. People teach it that way that there is. Let's look at the scriptures that talk about it. Uh, in Revelation 3 and verse 10, it says, it's talking to the, um, the church of Philadelphia, which is considered the church that was good and the church that really kept Yahweh's word. Uh, it says, because you have kept my command to persevere, I also will keep you from the hour of trial, which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Okay, so he's going to keep them from it. He's going to spare them from it. But it doesn't say how. People join it together with the following verse in Revelation 12 and verse 6. Then the woman who fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared by Yahweh, that they should feed her there 1,260 days. And 1,260 days is the equivalent of 42 months or three and a half years. So that is the tribulation period. But it doesn't say specifically that that same group from uh, Revelation 3.10 is going to be the one. It just says he's keeping you from the hour. It doesn't say specifically how. Um, this group, the woman who fled into the wilderness, we're not, we don't even know 100% who she is. That woman was the, one, the woman who gave birth to the son, who from the context we know is talking about Yeshua. So that's talking about 2,000 years ago. You know, it's not, it's not as clear as people will, will uh, say it, or as people try to say. They, they make it sound like it's so evident that people are going to be raptured, they're going to be picked up before the tribulation starts, only the bad Christians who need to learn their lesson are going to stay here on earth, and all of the good guys are going to be raptured up, so they think they're going to heaven. It says no man has ever gone to heaven except for Yeshua. So, um... Uh, other people believe they're going to be taken to a place of safety. They believe it's this place called Petra, which is an um, ancient ruins city in uh, Jordan. It's a tour tourist place. Uh, you can go there. I know people who have gone there and I've seen hours of videos of the place. It's a rocky uh, place where it's filled with tombs that are in the walls of the, of the, the rocks. And the, it's like a big canyon. And uh, they filmed um, part of uh, Raiders of the La Lost Ark using one of the facades there. Obviously, the inside was just a set. Um, but, you know, read over these scriptures again. I, I think you're better off preparing yourself to um, have your robes made white, uh, going through the tribulation, becoming purified, uh, I really think that anyone who is sure or thinks they are going to be in this place of safety and be spared, they most likely will not be there. Because, uh, and I'm not saying if you have like my attitude that I don't think I will be there because I do need to be purified. Um, I'm not saying that that's like, that's a good, at, that's the right attitude to have and that I'm going to be in the place of safety. Um, I, I just think that having the attitude that, hey, it's a done deal, we're going to the place of safety or we're going to be raptured, that attitude... Come on, when you read the scriptures, the people who have that attitude, it's, obviously, it's obvious that they are not going to be there. It's people with a humble heart, people who um, don't think much of themselves. And uh, so try to be humble. Don't count on going and getting out of this and, going th and not having to go through the um, tribulation. It says many believers, many sons of Yahweh are going to be beheaded in the tribulation because they are not going to bow down to the beast power. They are not going to bow down to his image. They're not going to worship him and they're not going to receive his 666 mark in their right hand or their forehead and they will be decapitated for it. They will be murdered. You know, so that's not a great thing either. But there's going to be, during the tribulation, it's going to be a very terrible time. And we just have to um, console ourselves with the fact that in three and a half years after it begins, that Yeshua will be returning to the earth to establish his kingdom. And that will be a great time. So read back over these scriptures, please, and uh, do a little study on that, on, on these, uh, knowing what you have to do. Um, read some of the end time scriptures in First Thessalonians and Second Thessalonians, and uh, the whole book of Revelation, of course. But the most important thing is that you accept Yeshua as your savior and change because repentance is real change of life and keeping his 